Class Act Friday this morning. We are live from Newark Tech in New Jersey. Pretty remarkable. They all got up bright and early for you, Chris. Ladies, thank you very much. Essex County, the crown jewel here. We are at Newark Tech. So excited. Awesome turnout this morning. With every class act, we like to find those programs that nobody else can boast about. Newark Tech has an EMT simulator. Only one in the state, only school in the state to have it. Only a very few number in the entire country have this type of resources. The next doctors, nurses, EMTs, dentists, dental hygienists are all being trained right here. Let's start with checking his vitals. What's it like being at a high school where you have access to these types of resources every day? It's actually incredible because this is the first time that I've actually been able to engage with all of the medical things that I want to do in the future. And, and my whole entire aspiration since I was a young child was to become a doctor and being able to interact with these things in my daily school life has been amazing for me. To see all these things, um, it's amazing because I want to be a doctor in the future. And to see all this in action, it's amazing, gives me experience. And to learn all this every day, it's been amazing experience. At the end, we all want to be EMTs, so we're all doing the same thing. We're learning from each other and gaining great experiences. As far as coming to this school, this school seems to be very unique in the programs that it offers and the opportunities that you students have. What was it about Newark Tech that made you say, that's where I want to go to high school? Honestly, it's the community that the school has, as well as how the programs work, because before you go into this school, they introduce you. They tell you, you know. So you get prepared. You're like, okay, this is what I want. That's where I want to go. When I was applying to this high school, I didn't know there was any other me medical programs except for here. When I saw EMT, I was like, I want to do this, you know? It'll help me become a doctor. So. Now, uh, what is it about that role? Is it the excitement of it? Is it the kind of the adrenaline of, of the fact that you never know what you're going to be confronted with each day? What is it about the profession? It's that it's not knowing what you're going to get. You know, helping the patient, being able to actually have an effect on patient outcome is really exciting. <laughs> Okay, so it's having respiratory issues. And just seeing the fact that you can help people in their daily lives when they're in the worst situation of their entire life, because that's what you're in when you call an ambulance. You're calling them to help you because you have no idea what to do. Yeah. And I want to be there to help them with empathy and all of those things that they need. Having this simulation ambulance here, talk about a resource unlike any other. What's that been like as far as helping you learn and just kind of be in the, in the situation every day? Honestly, what's really cool about it is that the mannequins are basically alive. Yeah. Like they'll look at you, they have real temperatures, blood pressures, pulses, all of those things. Yeah. They interact with you, they're blinking, they're looking yeah. at you, everything. Let me check his heart rate. And that is incredible because it feels like we're practicing on real humans. Yeah. And it makes the experience just so much better so that when we actually practice, when we're going out in the field, we have that much better of a chance. How much tougher is this job, getting a pulse ox and things like that, blood pressure when the vehicle's moving like this? When he's shifting, it's kind of like it's helping the yep. pressure yep. first time you, First time you had to experience this, we are like, oh my goodness, this is way yeah. too much. It was very difficult because we were having a hard time telling the pressure properly Yep. versus when you're in a class and yep. you're just sitting down on the floor. Is teamwork essential? Yes, yeah. yep. it's one of the biggest things in this because if you don't work with your partner, then your patients will never get the help that they need. And there you see it. Uh, talk about just doing some great, great work here. These kids are incredible. I want to introduce you to a bunch of them right now. Josh Canones is an aviation maintenance kid here. We're going to talk to him. Janae Destiny is an automotive engineering and a cheerleader, as you can see. Josh Williams, a basketball star and an engineering major. Samuel Pierre, an engineer here. Justin Alboron, a future EMT, and the woman you just saw, Keona Clark, another future EMT. Keona, what's that been like having that simulator at this school to teach you to be the next great EMT out there? Honestly, it's amazing to have it, especially in your classroom, and to be in that learning environment that allows you to not just learn, but in a simulated environment where it's just like the real thing. Yeah. And and learning like that makes me feel like, wow, when I get out there, I'm going to be so prepared. Well, I'll tell you, being in the back of that bus with you like that, I, I felt like, okay, if I was sick, I would want her to take care of me. She knows what she's doing. Thank you. So, that means I'm doing well. The, learning, uh, the one thing that you said in the piece that I thought was very good is that, you know, when you're talking with people in that position, they're at the worst time of their life. Exactly. So you wanted to make them feel as comfortable as possible. And being in that simulation ambulance allows us to kind of feel like we know what you're going through and yeah. we see what it's like. So now we're able to treat you the best way possible.
possible yeah. and have that compassion. Awesome. Great to see you. Congratulations. Continued success. Justin, what's it been like being in this program? It's It's been amazing. You know, the opportunities they just give, it's it's amazing. Yeah. The Just being able to actually, because knowing me that I'm going to go to college and actually pursue an education like this in the medical field, having the background of it, yeah. it's great to have. And I love just like in class doing this, this uh it's like yeah. stuff, like yeah. you saw what I did. I carried, yeah. I carried the defensive with us. I can't believe he trusted you. That was good stuff. Mr. Pierre, let me ask you, what's it been like being at this school with the programs they have to offer? It's been really good. I've learned a lot over these past four years. Uh, I feel honestly that I'm really well prepared for college and stuff. So I just say it's a great experience for me to like learn all this. Hey, and athletics at this school too. I mean, I know we've been talking about a lot of smart kids here, but you got some great basketball programs at this place. Yeah, we do. I feel like just this school in general, it could take you anywhere you want to go. The people here, the teachers here, it feel like everyone genuinely cares, and this is a great environment. Yeah. Do you get along with the principal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's his son. <laughs> hey, so engineering, huh? Yep. So what's Happy. that like? I mean, you got a lot going on here, cheerleading and engineering. Yeah, it's a lot, but it's just the fact of how I was raised. My aunt was like, the STEM is the main one that's actually going to get you somewhere in life. Not well. Yeah. Not always, but it gets you there and it helps a lot. So, yeah. That's awesome. And let me ask you real quick here. I'm going to hop on this side of you. Aviation engineering, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to aim So for. what would you like to do? I like, it's between aviation engineering, aviation maintenance and engineering, yep. mechanical engineering. And I think automotive will steer me in that direction. And this school offers a great opportunity for you in those departments. Yeah, we're actually working on cars. We're doing OSHA, ASC. We get to work on engines, uh, brakes, tires, spark plugs. Hey, well, I mean, as you can see, good job, everybody. Great, great energy at this place. I mean, ladies, as I toss it back to you, it is just an incredible environment here. Newark Tech here in Essex County, they have shown up big time, and the kids have been so smart, and the energy's been so great. Now, talk about Team Spirit. I mean, how incredible, and what a wonderful program that they could partake in. Thanks so much, Chris. We'll see you in just a little bit, because our Class Act coverage continues in just a moment.